Recently AMD launched the Wraith Cooler. It's a heat pipe designed uh, kind of stock cooler that comes with an 8370 and while it's not AMD's first heat pipe design stock cooler, we're going to take a look at what's interesting about this one. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So this is AMD's new Wraith Cooler. It comes with an FX 8370 and uh, that's their 8 core 4.3 gigahertz processor. And just to make it clear, I'm not reviewing the chip as that's been out for a while. Uh, I'm just reviewing the brand new cooler, which is, as I said, the Wraith. Now this is technically a stock cooler and it's definitely the beefiest one I've ever seen. AMD definitely have made heat pipe design coolers, even for some of the FX chips in the past, but none that have really been this beefy before. So that's pretty cool. Too. Now in terms of performance, um, I'll get onto the specifics later, but this thing can hold its own with an 8370 on full you know, CPU load at around about 50 to 60 degrees, which for a stock cooler is really nice, and it comes with a nice addition of being relatively nicely styled, has a nice sleeve cable, 4 pin PWM fan header, and a free copy of Hitman if you purchase it from the selected retailers, which um, you can find in the links down below. Now just to give you an idea of sort of a size comparison, here's the normal stock cooler that you get with AMD processors. It really is massive in comparison, and while it's not the same size as, you know, something like a Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO, it's certainly, def um, you know, a step up uh, in, in a lot of ways, actually, especially noise. I'm going to be doing a noise test in just a second, uh, just to get you an idea of, you know, what it sounds like, but it's still just as easy to install with the two tabs on either side and then the little arm, and then obviously just make sure that you plug it in as well. Um, but anyway, uh, as you can see, it's mounted on the Gigabyte board, and if you want to see the full review for that, check the channel out on Monday. So I'm quite happy that Indy's added this to the 8370 kind of package, uh, and it's certainly a lot better than what is essentially a small fan, a chunk of aluminium, and a bit of copper in the center too. Um, so that, that is really nice, and I'm glad that it exists. Uh, I certainly wouldn't recommend this for pretty much anything other than occasional web browsing, uh, whereas this thing can handle full gaming load, you know, uh, video editing, all that sort of stuff. This thing can keep it cool, uh, relatively, and keep it relatively quiet as well. Obviously, it's not as quiet as something like a Cooler Master Neptune 120XL, uh, and also there is something to kind of take into consideration. I would normally, uh, before this existed, I would just straight up recommend people to buy something like a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, um, which is about 20 to 25 quid, or you know, depending on where you are and, and whatever else. Um, which is kind of the perfect cheap heat sink that you can throw on, it's pretty easy to mount. It's got all the mounting hardware you'd expect. Uh, and this, this cooler raises a question to that because it's a great cooler and it's perfectly functional uh, and it's relatively easy to install as well. Uh, and at the time of filming, it may just be a supply thing or, or whatever else, but if you want to pick this cooler up on Amazon, you're going to be paying about 40 quid more than one, uh, an 8370 with one of these in the box. Also, if you want to pick this up and scan, because the one with this in the box got a price drop, it's still about 10 quid more expensive to pick one of these up. And if a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo is only, you know, 10 quid more expensive than one of these, you may benefit from the extra performance, extra quietness, and uh, generally extra compatibility that that may provide. Now, it is completely up to you. I'm just giving you uh, the information and options to later decide. But if you do want to pick one of these up, especially the entire kit, then feel free to check out the Amazon link down below uh, and you know pick one up there. And if you do, let me know what you think of it. If you're still running one of these, um, I'd like to know why and uh, what you plan on doing about it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's kind of the roundup for that. In terms of like the, the pros and cons, I think I've kind of covered them, but uh, in terms of scoring, I would have to say that it's a five for value for money. It's practically free or, you know, give or take, depending on if you know, the one with this has a price drop or not, it's pretty great. Um, in terms of performance, I'm gonna give it a four because it's, you know, not perfect, but for what it is, it's pretty great. 
Functionality is going to be four as well because it's pretty nice to install. It's nice and beefy. It's actually pretty nicely sleeved and stuff, which is why it's getting a five for style. Um, but it isn't the quietest thing in the world, uh, so that is something to note. And in terms of Tech Team BB score, I'm going to give it a five as well. I think I'm going to have to give it the oh, probably the gold award actually because. For a stock cooler, considering the stuff that Intel normally gives you, which is a very thin pancake of aluminium, this is really awesome. And while it's probably more necessary for the 8370 rather than something like a 6700K, um, this is certainly a really nice step in uh, kind of bringing AMD back onto the, the market of gaming and easy to build PCs. So yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Also, if you're watching this video on Vessel, hello. If not, you're watching this on YouTube, which means uh, basically the videos are on Vessel a week early. So if you want to check this review out, uh, or this or many other reviews uh, seven days early, feel free to check out the free month long trial. And it's not just me on there, Linus, uh, Hardware Canucks, um, and loads of other people as well, Tech Syndicate. So uh, all the sort of people are already on there, so feel free to check that out. Other than that, uh, like, subscribe, dislike if you didn't like it, and let me know what you think of this and the general video in the comments down below. Uh, and other than that, we'll see you on the next one.